Earlier this week, I went to the pub. <laughs> Bob Hawke is fondly remembered for severing our constitutional ties with Britain, floating the Australian dollar and establishing Medicare. So by nerds. Everyone else remembers him as the Prime Minister that set a new world record for beer drinking. He sculled 2.5 Imperial pints. That's 1.4 litres of beer in 11 seconds as part of a college penalty. In his memoirs, Bob Hawke suggested that this single feat contributed to his political success more than any other by endearing him to a voting population the strong beer culture. So I'm here proving a theory that people will vote for someone who loves a beer. Let's be honest, I just want to drink beer. What do you remember uh, famously about Bob Hawke? His severing constitutional ties of Britain, uh, establishing Medicare, floating the Australian dollar, or holding the world record for beer drinking? He did all those other things? Beer drinking, absolutely beer drinking. No, you should probably be remembered for, you know, all those other wonderful things. The fact that he can scull a pint's just a benefit. What if there were two candidates who were very similar, but one could smash pints like no one's business? Who would you vote for? Pint smashing Prime Minister, number one. You'd probably have to go with the one that could scull a pint. Would you vote for me if I could scull this pint? As opposed to what? Eating an onion. If I was to play some word association, what would you say after I said jobs? Great. And if I could scull this pint, would, that, would I impress you, Joe? Certainly. Can I please scull this pint, Joe? Absolutely. Thanks, Joe. You know Bob Hawke. If I was running for office, what could I drink that would impress you? I would just love to see a nice classy drink, a nice neat whiskey. See if that's, maybe if you can scull something like a glass of rum, I'll be really impressed. One shot of beer for a hundred minutes. One shot every minute. So thankfully, this is not a 100-minute episode. I'm going to go with Harvey's vote, and I'm going to drink a nice, classy, neat whiskey. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. So there you have it. The people have spoken. Australians are more likely to vote for beer-chugging champions than anyone else. So drink up, Australia, but drink responsibly. And vote, Australia but also vote responsibly. I've been Jacqueline Mifsud. Cheers.